Welcome to the Step 1 of You Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about elastin and Marfan syndrome. Elastin, just as you might expect from the name, is a protein in the extracellular matrix that gives tissues its elasticity. It is made of individual elastin molecules connected to each other by crosslinks that have two conformations, stretched and relaxed. Organs that are elastic, like the skin, lungs, large arteries, ligaments, vocal cords, and ligamenta flava, all contain elastin. Elastin is abundant in non-hydroxylated proline, glycine, and lysine residues, unlike the stronger collagen. Once produced in the cell, it is secreted and deposited on fibrillin, a fibrous protein that makes up the framework for the elastic fiber. A lysyl oxidase, just like in collagen, then comes by and crosslinks the individual elastin molecules to each other, giving it its elastic properties. The elastic fiber can now be used in the respective tissues that needs it. Elastase is an enzyme that breaks down elastic fibers. This is useful when elastic fibers are in the food you eat. Neutrophils also secrete elastase during inflammation. Alpha-1 antitrypsin is a protein that inhibits elastase. If after an inflammation, alpha-1 antitrypsin is deficient, then elastase will continue to flow through the blood and end up in the lungs, where it breaks down elastic fibers. This reduces the elasticity of the lungs, causing COPD. The amount of elastin in collagen changes in an individual when they age. Both collagen and elastin levels decrease after the age of 20, making the skin more loose and more fragile. The synthesis of collagen fibrils decreases. However, the cross-linking between them remains normal. Marfan syndrome is a disorder on the chromosome 15 by the FBN1 gene. It is mutated, which then produces defective fibrillin, which normally scaffolds the elastin. It is a dominant allele and commonly affects the skeleton, heart, and eyes. The skeleton generally becomes tall with long extremities. It may have pectus carinatum or pectus excavatum. The joints are hypermobile. The fingers and toes are long and tapered. More scientifically, arachnodactyl. The most serious part of the body affected by individuals with Marfan syndrome is the heart. With less amount of elastin than normal in the aorta, the media of the aorta can pool with ground substance. This can cause lesions and necrosis of the aorta, weakening it. The weak aorta is prone to aortic root aneurysm that can rupture or dissection of the aorta, where the tunica intima can tear and allow blood to create a channel between the layers of the aorta. These two conditions are symptomless, and they are the main cause of death. Mitral valve prolapse is also common. The lenses of the eye can detach from the zonular fibers. This is known as subluxation, and the lenses in individuals with Marfan syndrome are typically found in a superior and temporal position. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.